Peter Honewold, Redefining Leadership in South Africa's Correctional Services. Peter Honewold, the newly appointed Minister of Correctional Services, has spoken out against blue lights and the concept of a high number of bodyguards. No blue lights for me, Honewold proclaimed. Having blue lights is superfluous and pointless, in my view. Personally, I will feel uneasy with a platoon of bodyguards. In a bold and refreshing move, Peter Honewold, the newly appointed Minister of Correctional Services in South Africa, has announced his decision to reject the traditional trappings of ministerial power, including the use of blue light and an extensive security detail. We come to think of the fact that this is South Africa, where the crime rate has actually skyrocketed to a whole different level. We have seen so many top officials and celebrities like the late AKA who passed away because they didn't have a tight security guard. But right now, for someone who happens to be the Minister of Correctional Services to work without bodyguards, if you ask me, I would say this is a death mission because South Africa has become very, very dangerous in recent times. Hunwald firmly stated that he doesn't want anything close to bodyguards or blue light around him. He elaborated that he views such displays of authority as unnecessary and excessive. Of course, he added that signaling the significant effects of all these bodyguards and blue lights, they are all a wastage of money and he prefers that this money should be redirected to something valuable for the country. Honvold's declaration reflects a broader ethos of modesty and frugality, a stark departure from the customary show of power often associated with political figures. His approach is deeply rooted in a philosophy of accessibility and efficiency, values he intends to embed within his tenure as Minister of Correctional Services. By eschewing these traditional symbols of authority, Honvold aims to foster a more open and approachable image for his office, thereby enhancing public trust and accountability. The Department of Correctional Services, which Honewold now oversees, is a critical component of South Africa's justice system. It is responsible for the management of the country's prison system and the implementation of policies designed to rehabilitate offenders. Honewold's leadership style marked by simplicity and a focus on substantive issues over symbolic power, could usher in a new era for the department. His stance against blue light and extensive security details is not just about optics. It is a statement about his priorities and the kind of minister he aspires to be. The formation of the South African Government of National Unity marks a significant moment in the country's political landscape. The GNU is designed to bring together diverse political factions to address the nation's myriad challenges, ranging from economic recovery to social justice. Honvold's appointment aligns with these goals, as his party, the Freedom Front Plus, has been invited to participate in South Africa's recovery and reconstruction efforts. This inclusion underscores the GNU's commitment to a collaborative approach to governance. Honvold's leadership style is characterized by a commitment to thrift and modesty. His rejection of blue light and a large security detail is a reflection of his desire to lead by example, demonstrating that government officials can be effective without resorting to ostentatious displays of power. This approach could resonate well with the public, who are often critical of perceived excesses and waste in government spending. As a head of the FF+, Honvold brings a unique perspective of the GNU, and all of this is being tabled to the GNU tables. His party has long advocated for the rights and interests of minority communities in South Africa, and his appointments to a key ministerial role provides an opportunity to integrate these perspectives into the broader national agenda. Honvold's pragmatic approach to leadership combined with his focus on efficiency and accessibility, could prove to be a valuable asset in the GNU's efforts to address the country's pressing issues. The South African Department of Correctional Services faces numerous challenges, including overcrowding, inadequate resources, and the need for effective rehabilitation programs. Under Honvold's leadership, there is potential for significant reform. 
His focus on efficiency suggests that he will prioritize initiatives that deliver tangible results, such as improving conditions within prisons and enhancing rehabilitation programs to reduce recidivism. Frodovold's stance on blue light and bodyguards is more than a symbolic gesture. It is a reflection of his broader philosophy in governance. By choosing to operate without these traditional markers of authority, he is signaling his commitments to a more grounded and accountable approach to public service. This could have a profound impact on the way the Department of Correctional Services functions on the public's perception of government officials. The formation of the GNU is a response to South Africa's complex political and social landscape. By bringing together diverse political parties, the GNU aims to create a more inclusive and effective government. Hervold's inclusion in this body is a testament to his party's importance and the potential for his pragmatic approach to contribute to national progress. In the comment section, without necessarily judging about each and every one of you to give me your honest opinions about what you think about this, I love you also dearly and do all to take appropriate care of yourselves too, please.